All right, in today's lesson, we're gonna graph absolute value inequalities. Now, before we dive in, let's just do a little bit of review here. If you remember from Algebra 1, you when we graphed inequalities, we could have a less than, and that would give us a dotted line, and we would shade down underneath that y-intercept. If it's greater than, it would be a dotted line, and we would shade up. Now, if it's less than or equals to, it would be a solid line. Less than would shade down. Greater than or equal to is solid, and that would shade up. So how do you remember this? Well, if it has a line, it gets a line. If it doesn't have a line, it gets a dotted line. So that's one way to remember which one is solid and which one is not. So now look at our lesson today. We are going to be graphing an, an absolute value inequality. And we're going to prove algebraically whether or not it's in, the origin is, is in the solution set. Well, maybe you know this, maybe you don't. Origin, what the heck is the origin, right? The origin is that point zero, zero, right? We're just going to check to see if it's in the solution set. So let's try one of these. So this equation looks like it's already in graphing mode. It's almost slope-intercept mode, so we can graph this. And look at our y-intercept. It's at negative 2. All right? And then it has a slope of 1. Slope of 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. All right, and then I'm going to use my straight edge, and I've noticed that it's an greater than or equal to, so it's going to get a solid line. So I'm going to shade, I'm going to draw my solid line in there. Then I put my pencil on the y-intercept, and it's, since it's greater than, I'm going to shade above. So I shade above that line. So in anything in the little blue, in, in the shaded area, is considered a solution. So we want to see is the origin and the solution set. Well, we think it will be because it's in the shaded region. So let's try it. Zero is greater than or equal to zero minus two. Let's see if it's true. Is zero greater than or equal to negative two? That's a true statement. So it is true. Let's try another one. Y is less than or equal to the absolute value of negative x minus four. So x minus 4 means it's taking my point at the origin and moving it 4 units to the right. Remember, it's opposite logic because it's in the absolute value. But it just has a slope of 1, so not much to do on the right. But over here, I'm going to keep putting dots until at least I hit the y-axis. The y and it's an it's a, or equals to, so I can draw a straight solid line in here. Right? And then I need to shade. So let's see, which way am I shading? Well, get my y-intercept, and it says less than, so I would be shading down below that boundary line that we created. So any point in the shaded region is considered a solution. So 0, 0, the origin, is in there, so it should work. It should be a true statement, but we have to prove it. So is zero less than or equal to the absolute value of zero minus four? Zero is less than or equal to the absolute value of negative four. Remember, absolute value is a distance, so it's just four. Is zero less than, less than or equal to four? Yes, that's true. That's what we expected to happen. Let's try number three. A little bit more going on here. Okay, look at our vertex. Our vertex is going to be at negative 4, negative 6, right? So I'm going to go left 4, and down 6. There's my vertex. And now I have a slope of 2, so up 2 over 1. I'm going to take it at least to the y-axis, so I have that point figured out. I'm going to go over to the left. This one is a, a greater than, so it's a dotted line. There it 
there we go. Now, I need to shade. Well, it's greater than, so my shading should go from my y-intercept up. My y-intercept is here, so I'm shading up. So basically, I'm shading on the inside of the V. Anything in the inside of the V should be a solution. Now, looking at my graph, notice the origin, 0, 0, is not in the shaded area. So I'm anticipating that this should be a false statement when I put in 0, 0. So let's see this. 0 is greater than 2 times 0 plus 4 minus 6. Absolute value of 4 minus 6. Well, the absolute value of 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So I have 0. Is 0 greater than 2? Mm, that's false. That is not a true statement. All right, look at the bottom of our page. It says to write the inequality for this graph, and then we're going to test the origin to see if it works. All right, so we've done this before. We just haven't done it with the shading. So not a big deal. Let's just look at number four here and write the equation. So let's first find our vertex. Where's our vertex? Well, it's over here at uh, what? One, zero, right? So we know it's an absolute value function, and we know it's pointing upward, so it does not have a lead negative. So we're going to be absolute value of x minus 1. Remember to change the sign of the x in your vertex. And it's nothing plus or minus. Now, there's y, but it's not y equals. Notice it's shading up, so that means it's greater than. And notice that it's dotted line, so it doesn't have an or equals 2 line in it. So this is the equation we believe that it is. Now we want to test the origin. We know from the graph that the origin falls outside the shaded area, so it should become a false statement if we did our equation correctly. So let's try this out. 0 is greater than the absolute value of 0 minus 1. 0 greater than 0 minus 1 is negative 1, but the absolute value of negative 1 is just 1. Is 0 greater than 1? No, that's false. All right, so we've tested it, and indeed, what our equation says seems to be correct. Now let's try the last one over here. So we can see that it's an absolute value graph. Let's look where our vertex is. It's 1, 2, 3, over. So it's at 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. At 3, 4. There's our vertex. And we know when we put it in the equation, it's going to be opposite logic for the x. So x minus 3 plus 4. Now, notice it's opening down. That means there's a negative out here, and it's definitely not a slope of 1. Let's count it and see what it is. It's down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. And that works both directions, so my slope is 1 half, but it's negative, again, because it is vertically reflecting. So then there's my, it's y, and it's greater than because it's shaded above. So it's greater than. It's not or equals 2 because it's a dotted line. So there's my equation. Now, notice the origin. Where is it? Well, it's right here. It's not in the shaded area. So that means it should be a false statement. So let's plug in 0, 0 just to prove that. So 0 is greater than negative 1 half times 0 minus 3 plus 4. 0 is greater than negative 1 half. Now, 0 minus 3, absolute value is 0 minus 3. Uh, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So let's multiply that. So negative 1 half times 3 over 1 plus 4. So I have 0 is greater than negative 3 halves. Now this has to get a common denominator to be able to add it to the 4. The common denominator should be 2, so 2 times 4 gives me 8. Well, then I have 0 is greater than 5 halves. Well, we know that's not a true statement. That is false. But according to the graph, it should be false, right? All right, let's look at this last question. The point one zero is included in the solution set of problem four. Well, let's look at it and see if we can explain why it is or isn't. So if I look at the point one zero, that is the vertex, right? It's the vertex, but notice that the line is dotted. That means that whatever's on this line is not a solution. It's the things within it, the shaded part that's within it. 
So because that one zero is on a dotted line, not a solid line, that means it's not a solution. So I would need to explain myself and say the point one zero is not a solution because it is on a dotted line. And that's all you need to state. That, that's your explanation. All right, that's it for this lesson. I hope this has made some sense to you and um, it will set you up for tomorrow's lesson. Let me know what questions you have.